In the previous video, we have started implementing the root fixture class, so let's go to it and let's continue implementing this class. Okay, so we have finished by implementing this if else statement to check which prefab should we apply. So now let's start from create four way. So let's right click and go to the definition of it and let's start implementing from this one. So this is the easiest version because what we can do is simply call placement manager dot modify structure model which we have implemented two lectures ago we can pass the temporary position we can pass the four way prefab okay and we can pass the quaternion dot identity as four way fits in any direction it is so it is we can place it with quaternion identity okay next one we have place three way so let's go to unity and see how we will implement the three way street okay i'm going to open the prefabs open the road and drag our three way prefab onto our scene view and as you can see the basic direction is up right left at rotation zero so if we have uh, neighbors up down and right then we can say that this is the correct rotation. Now, if we rotate it by 90, we will have the neighbors needs to be on left, right, and down, 180. The neighbors should be in down, up, and left direction. And 270, the neighbor will be in the right, left, and up direction. And this is how we are going to tackle this issue. We are going to check our result array, that is the result containing the cell types of each neighbor, if the neighbor to the right, so the first to the zeroth index is road, the one index is road and the two index is road, we are going to rotate our three-way by 270 degrees and we are going to place it here. Let's delete this prefab and let's go to our script. Okay, so as I have previously mentioned, the default position was up, down and right. So we can check if... Now, we had this left up right and down positions in our result cell type array so if we want to have default values as up right and down we will need to check our in our if statement if the result of uh, index one is of cell type dot road let's copy this statement and our result two so right is of type road and result three is of type road then we can be sure that we have the correct position at the rotation of uh, quaternion dot identity so let's copy the four-way brief uh, four-way statement the placement manager modify structure temporary position is correct instead of four way we will need to have a three way and we can keep the quaternion dot identity now let's copy this whole statement let's type else if and let's start rotating it so two instead of one three instead of uh, two and zero instead of three so now we are checking for up right sorry uh, right down and left and we know that we can simply rotate it by 90 degrees. So instead of quaternion identity, we call Euler and pass 0 on x, 90 on y, and 0 on z. So right, down, left means that we need to rotate our three-way by 90 degrees. And this is the notion behind it all. Let's paste the same code again. And now we are going to simply check for 3, 0, one because this is the easiest way we just wrote it in our mind the uh, prefab so we know that we need to have neighbors on those positions and now we can type 180 degrees and else as the last statement we can copy this paste it and check for the zero one and two of course you could just leave here else statement and just uh, call else placement modify a structure model and pass 270 degrees but it is much more clear what is going on we are checking for the last combination for the left up and right 
and this requires us to rotate our through a by 270 degrees. If you are not sure what is going on here, just type, uh, just write down those parameters, just uh, type what would be those values for the result array. So type, type false, true, 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 for example, and then check if you rotate this and place a uh, rotate the through a on our in your scene view so place a through a here and rotate it around to see if what you have typed in the array matches the rotation so we will understand what is going on in the code okay so now we have our three we can copy those statements because it will be useful for our corner so let's paste the same code in our corner the create corner uh, method so here we will only check let's copy the same definition of our array so here we will need to know if left up up right right down and down left are road and no other and of course uh, do mind that this if statement checking the road count road count allows us to assume that if there are only two if we create a straight road then it means that we are done if not we create corner so we do not bother checking each and every case we know that if the road count is two we can only place either the straight road or the corner so let's slide down back to our corner because we have not finished it and what we can do is simply call one two uh, delay the three check two three delay the zero check three zero we can delete the remaining check and zero one okay now the question remains what is the default rotation of our corner so let's go to unity okay i'm going to drag our curve straight curve and we can see that our default rotation is right and up so one one zero zero okay so let's go back to visual studio okay so the default rotation is zero so left and up so one so let's change the definition from three-way to corner and it will be quaternion dot zero we can copy this statement and now next rotation 90 degrees will be one two so let's paste our placement manager modify structure temporary position corner euler and let's type 90 next one will be 180 so two three so write down 180 and three zero will be 270 and again we could instead of checking this we could check else and place this because we know that if nothing else fit then the last case must be true okay we have our create corner method completed now we have two more the straight road and the dead end what we can do is the copy the code from the corner and let's implement the dead end since this is pretty similar let's paste our code here and what we can uh, do is go back to unity and check what is the default rotation for our dead end so let's place our dead end so dead end default rotation is to the right okay I cancel because I have tried to de delete the prefab, uh, modify the prefab. Let's go back to the Visual Studio. And what we know that the right, so let's copy the array layout. So right is third. So we can uh, delete the checks and we can leave one, two, three, and four. So this will be zero okay and for the right so zero one two for the two it will be rotation zero so identity and actually we can change in the uh, corner again the identity instead of euler angle and pass zeros great so two is zero three is rotation 90 zero is rotation 180 and the top rotation one so if we are directing uh, the dead end to uh, one we are going to type 270 or minus 90 depending on what we want to type but this both form should work okay and the last method is our create straight road 
And this one will be a bit different. So let's slide up where we have the 3A. Let's copy one statement. And let's slide it down to our create straight road. And here let's paste this statement. Now, let's go back to Unity and see what is the issue. Okay. So now what we will have here is we have our straight road. And if our neighbors are to the right and to the left, the rotation is identity. If the neighbors are up and down, the rotation must be only 90 and that's it for changing the straight road. So let's go back to our Visual Studio. And here, what we are going to do is return bool value if we have uh, succeeded in finding a correct rotation. So the, again, let's copy the layout for our array of the results. And let's see. The first one is left and right. And this was the default rotation, if I am correct. So one, a zero, so this is left, is equal road. And two, so oh, one, two, yeah, this is the road. And we are going to check if three and one is not a road. Or actually, uh, we are checking it only if two of them are roads. So we do not need to check if they are not roads because if there are only two roads and zero and two are roads, then we are correct to assume that we need to have the straight road, so road straight uh, with the quaternion identity. And else if, and we are going to paste the same code. So let's copy the same code. And instead of zero and two, we are going to check one and three. And this is because we only assume that the road count is two. So if those two are straight road, then this is the straight road without rotation. If those two, then we need the rotation quaternion.euler, zero, 90, and zero. And we need to return the Boolean value. So simply return, if this uh, if statement is true, return true. If the below statement is true, return true. And if this is not the case, so we need a corner, we are going to simply return false. And that's it. That's the whole implementation for our road fixer. I know it was a bit of uh, code writing here, nothing very exciting, but in the next video, we will make use of this class and implement it into our road manager so we can see that the road prefabs are being changed depending on where we have placed our next road structure. Now, last thing that we will need to do is just let's go to Unity. There should be no errors whatsoever. So let's close the terrain, close the canvas. Let's assign the road fixer to our road manager. So let's go to scripts, drag a road fixer here, and we can go to prefabs for the road and drag the correct prefab three way for the three way, four way for the four way, curve where there is corner, dead end for the dead end and road straight for the road straight. And that's it. In the next video, we will make use of this script in our road manager script. If you are enjoying this content, please leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.